Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here, just over here in the wood shop making some sawdust this morning and just kind of thought I'd show you what I was up to here. Uh, move the dust collector line over for my CNC to it's where it's a little more usable now. Uh, if you look at my earlier videos, my CNC was over here next to the cut table. It uh, wasn't a really good place for it. I was always banging into it with the door and I was always afraid I was going to hit it when I move, was moving sheet goods here from my sort of vertical stack here over to the cut table. So I decided to move it and uh, the dust collection is a little bit better now. So I have my main uh, four inch line running down this wall here. And I had thought about kind of running up and over and around, but it just eh, seemed like a better uh, decision to just move it back here and uh, just kind of run with it that way. So I did, uh, and this morning uh, it's been running uh, pretty much nonstop since I got here at about six o'clock. And uh, yeah, you know, I've been cranking out these nil bog signs. If you're not familiar with uh, Nilbog, um, go look it up. Uh, it's an absolutely atrocious movie, but that's uh, for another video. Anyway, uh, yeah, these are just I just made these with a uh, uh, text tool. Um, just made a box, made a pocket, and then uh, ran some texturing at the bottom of that pocket. And I think they'll look pretty good. It needs to be cleaned up here a little bit more uh, with a sander. And then uh, I probably will run my HLA 850 over the back of it here with an undulating head to kind of give it uh, a little more, uh, a little more uh, texture on the back just to kind of look a little cooler. Uh, it's really quick uh, to do that with the uh, 850 there. And actually, I guess I can try and get that on video. So I've got a bunch of those to crank out here. Um, I've been working on a slab tabletop here, uh, as you can see. It's uh, actually, uh, I sanded it down this morning. I had my dust collector running because I had the CNC going all morning, so I did not get any video of that. Um, but I think it turned out pretty well. I used the uh, West Systems two-part epoxy here to uh, fill in all the, um, fill in all the uh, cracks and uh, wormholes. And uh, I just tried to leave as much in as I could because I kind of like the natural look to it. And uh, on the edge here, they're... Um, you know, all these wormholes and stuff are all filled and stabilized with epoxy, so I think it turned out pretty well. I really, uh, really like it here. I just uh, ran over it with uh, my RO150, uh, ran it up to uh, 400 grit, and I probably won't take it any higher than that because I kind of like it a little on the raw side. I probably will just finish it with some linseed oil. I went ahead and cut the uh, what's going to be the legs for it here. Uh, these are... Uh, just some cedar logs that I split in half uh, with my bandsaw here and then ran over the jointer, which, man, I absolutely love having a wide uh, jointer, but if I was doing it over again instead of buying the 8-inch, um, I probably would try and just bite the bullet and uh, buy uh, the biggest one I could get, see if I could maybe find a 16 or used uh, 24, because I really would like to be able to take a whole log like this and, you know, run it, uh, run it over there and joint it. It's really nice. A lot faster than trying to clean it up with a hand plane uh, or something like that, but I think they're going to look pretty cool here. Um, I think the cedar looks nice. I haven't exactly decided how I'm going to do the um, legs. I'm thinking I may use uh, some of this 8 quarter, actually that's probably closer to 10 quarter uh, uh, oak here. i um, still kind of noodling around with uh, how I'm going to do that. I still have a pretty big stack of uh, you know long-term storage lumber here that I can I need to sort through and decide what I really want to use for uh, what I have actually this tabletop in, or this slab right here uh, I need to get it out because I uh, it has a, a musket ball in it I found when I planed it and I have somebody that uh, wants a, a coffee table out of it um, kind of see it right up under there there's a big you know musket ball in there and you no know, Pretty cool looking, but uh, I just need to get it out of there uh, so I can uh, uh, go ahead and make a uh, make a table out of it. But anyway, yeah, big goings on here. Uh, really busy trying to finish up the Oak Street house. Uh, worked all weekend on that. Came over here, worked again yesterday. So again, another week with no day off. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's coming along here, making progress. And I uh, still hope to be done with the uh, Oak Street house, uh, probably at least the downstairs by February. So, yeah, that's kind of my plan. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I've been trying to go through and respond to all my comments. Um, I think I made it through all the comments, and I'm just kind of now getting to the personal messages. So if I've ignored you, I don't mean to be uh, rude or anything. I just I don't have that much time to go through, so I'm just trying to 
trying to get through the backlog, and I'm going to try and be better about keeping up with, uh, keeping up with comments and uh, messages and all. So anyway, thanks for watching.